Hey, is that you? I was wondering when you were getting home. Never leave me, comfy friend. You're not ready yet? We're running late. The pillows disagree. Cute. Come on, let's go. Or, here's a thought. We could not go out. Let's go, old man. Remind me again why this is a thing? Mindy and Vivian wanted us to meet Tina's new guy. I thought she was a lesbian. That joke doesn't get funnier the more you make it. I'm serious. So am I. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong? Cece left work early. Again? Mm -hmm. Listen, I love her and all, but she has to stop flaking out on you like this. This is the fourth time she's left you in the lurch to cover her shift. Well, she's an actress. What do you expect? Stop making excuses for her. I know she's a friend, but at some point it's taking advantage. Maybe you should find someone else. I'm not going to fire her. I didn't say fire her. I said hire someone to cover her hours when she has a show. What about Gina? Oh, just smother me with my pillow friends. I'm not going to smother you. I'm going to take you out and get you drunk. Because you're stubborn and set in your ways. They are ways that work. Yeah, well, change is sometimes good for us. It makes us stronger. I'm ignoring that. It's transparent. Parks. Oh, 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 oh. You, you could take her shift. You're deflecting. Besides, you know I don't mix family with business. However, I could be talked into helping with the interviews, provided we talk about the other thing. You're adorable. Yes, I am. Now, come on. I don't want to be fashionably late. You're not going to be fashionably anything if you wear those socks. If you're checking out my ass, it's already taken. Believe me, that's the last thing on my mind. Well, it should be. I've been told I have a great ass. And you must be Alex. I'm Mindy. <laughs> Pleasure. And yes, nice ass. Uh, so, uh, what's going on here? Viv mentioned the poetry night. Poetry slam. I host one every other Wednesday. Huh. But come on, Tina's already here. Is she not gracing us with her presence this evening? No, she has a performance. Guys, this is Noah. Noah, this is Viv, and... Alex. Hey. Wow, he is kind of cute. Not your usual type, though. I know, right? And he's a poet. Me, with a guy who digs poetry. Doesn't fit my usual profile, does it? Stranger things have happened, not many, but they have happened. So, who wants drinks? I'm buying. No, 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 you sit down, get to know everybody. First round's on me. Uh, you kids play nice while I'm gone. So, uh, how long you been in charge here? Uh, about a year. You into poetry? I am not, but this spoke highly of it. I'm always up for an adventure, so. You hear some really original stuff. You know, I never thought it would be my thing. Always had this image of sappy love sonnets and crap like that. You know what I mean. It's okay. Uh, so, Noah, what do you do? I, uh, I'm a waiter at the Friendly Toast. Oh, did you always see yourself as part of a vast, toasty empire? Not really. But it gives you uh, time to write. Yes, yeah. Uh, I used to write when I was at Columbia. Not much time for it these days. So, uh, what's your spark? My, uh, spark? And what do you write about? Oh. Uh, Noah is competing for Tina's affections. Oh, good on you, huh? <laughs> he already has that. He's competing for Mindy and Viv's affections. Oh, trial by fire. I dig it. Good, because you're next. Huh? Vivian! Sean! What, what are, are you? You first. Well, Alex and I are here for the poetry slam. Alex. New boyfriend. Oh, nice. Julia and I are here for the slam too. Julia! New girlfriend. Nice. Yeah. 
so do you want to come uh, sit with everybody? Um, oh. Mindy's here, oh. Tina's here, maybe Parker's no, here. No, that's fine. I just we like to hang out and catch up midweek. It's our only time. Yeah, really... totally get it. How's Cece? Good. Uh, she's in a show. Of course. Well, I'm glad she's doing really well. You know, we're all gonna go see it tomorrow. I mean, you should totally come. I'm sure she'd love to see you. You could bring Julia. <laughs> maybe, maybe we will. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get back to oh, everyone. Yeah. So <laughs> good to see you. You too, Viv. Guys, I just saw Sean. Sean, see, see, Sean? Yeah, the one and only. No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't look. He's uh, he's on a date. Apparently, he has a girlfriend. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Oh, and I invited them to Cece's show tomorrow. Say what now? Are you sure that's a good idea? Well, yeah, I mean, he's moved on, she's moved on. They're in a good place. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, I think it'd be good for them to see each other and say hi. You know best, Viv. It's a perfect opportunity for them to soothe things over and be friends again. I'm always trying to fix things. I am not. Oh, no. What? With all the crazy at work, I have expected to see you coming around the corner with a tool belt. They haven't laid anyone off yet, have they? No, still just rumors. But that hasn't stopped my department from working themselves up into a tizzy. But the admins are always the first to be let go, so they're so nervous. Oh, you should have heard poor Jenny venting. And yet there you were, cool and calm, telling them it'll be okay. And it will. I mean, what other choice did I have? They looked to me for leadership, so I can't go running around being frantic and nervous. Otherwise, the whole department would go to hell and no one would get anything done. But some of that stuff is out of your control. And you know how much she loves that. Hey there, party people. Hey, guys. Sorry we're late. This one couldn't figure out what to wear. I remember it quite differently. I remember something about you getting me drunk tonight. Yes, dear. Are you OK? You look exhausted. Fine. I'm just picking up the slack at work. Cece's rehearsal schedule. Does anyone remember the good old days when she just talked about being an actress? Oh, I cannot wait for this show of hers to be over so that she can get back to working a regular schedule. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. It can be, if I wish it hard enough. Hello, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Hands off, Parker. This one's mine. Yes. Well, all the same, I can still admire from afar, or near. <laughs> hey! Uh, no need, I'm flattered. So, uh, how'd you two meet? Chuck? Mm -hmm. God, who even remembers anymore? Sorry, I don't mean to be a crankosaurus. How did we meet? That's right, I recall it was a farmer's market. It was the street festival in Davis. We were looking at the same booth. It was an artist that made his own jewelry. That's right! The only reason to cross the river. Not that Cambridge, I take it. No, I have taste. That's questionable. Hush! Guys, I'm really psyched that you're here. This is one of my favorite events. You know, I don't have anything prepared. Uh, that's okay. I was just joking with you. But I am keeping my eye on you. Yes! Oh, guys, that's my cue. <laughs> uh, enjoy the show. I'll see you guys after. Bye! Don't suck! <laughs> when you act, you aren't just reading lines off a page. You're inhabiting another character. Good actors take the time to consider the moments that don't appear on stage. The moments that happen when the audience isn't watching. The same is true in life. We all like to think we're the star of our story. But take the time to consider the moments that happen when we aren't watching. Friendships, the laughter, the day-to-day -day stresses that make each of us who we are. On stage, as in life, when you consider the stories of others, it makes you a better partner, a better friend, and a better person. <laughs>